What's going on, everybody? It's Garnet Walters here again, and I'm doing another question and answer session. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please press the subscribe button and also press the notifications button so you know when a new video comes out. If you are a subscriber, I'd like to thank you so much for your support. It really means a lot, and I hope you're enjoying the videos. So today's question comes from Ian Fountain, and he says, I'm trying to improve my soloing and transcribing. How do you take language that you transcribe and get it into your own playing? That's a really good question. Um, the way that I go about taking my transcriptions into solos, it takes a, f a couple of steps, a few steps. Um, one step is that I learn it verbatim. So if I were to play a line like this, I would not only listen to it, but I would catch all the little nuances because sometimes we just try and get the information just based on the notes and we don't really study the feel of it. So if I've learned the notes, like the notes will sound cool, but it's all about the different accents and inflections and stuff. So I could play the same set of notes and I can just change the accents. Right? Or, or, right? Those are the same notes, but they feel different. So I really pay attention to not only the notes, but how it's played. Um, another way that I take the transcriptions and put it into language is I think about how it's being used initially. So in this case, this line. I'm automatically going to think that it's a 251 in B flat. So, just a quick thing. So, if I'm in B flat, the 2 would be C minor, and then the 5 would be F7. So, if I were to play the line, this is what it would sound like over those chord progressions. All right, I'll do it one more time. So once I get that, then I start to experiment and figure out what other chords it could go with. So I can do something like a tritone substitution, meaning that I could play, instead of playing C minor, I can play an F dominant 7 chord and then go to F7. So instead of this, I can do this, right? It helps to reinforce the line, but it also helps you to open up what's going on harmonically. Another thing that I do when I take transcriptions and put it into my playing is that I take them through all the different keys. Um, it's really important to have that because you're not going to be playing one song in one key all the time. So I just have the boring <laughs> the boring task of just putting them through all the keys i actually find it really challenging and it's actually fun because it helps me put my brain to work so i can understand the relationships and stuff between the line in one key to another um, another thing to add on is that i play them with both hands so i do with my right hand first and then i do it with my left hand then I put them together. All right, so right hand first, left hand, and both together. So now we're going to put them in another key. So let's try uh, F. So the two would be G, the five would be C. Right? So the line would be. So I'm with the right hand and in the left hand. Now the key to this, I know I'm playing it quickly, is that I practice this slowly first. Right? So I would practice it like this. So I'll practice it slowly first so I can get it underneath my fingers. And then with the metronome, I would pick up the tempo. 
Um, the important thing again is to make sure that you get the feel. So. Um, I always like to have some fun with it where I can play it two octaves apart, so it has like a kind of uh, Oscar Peterson feel. Once I get that original line together, then what I do is I start to create a variation of it. So I always have the foundation one, which is this. But then I start to add a little something to it. So I'll do something like this. It's still that 2 5 1 progression. I'm going to be in F. Right? So G minor to C7. Right? So that line is still going to fit in those changes. So this is what it would sound like. Right? still fits so sometimes you can take what you take what you've learned originally and then you just add a different thing to it it could be uh, a line that you come up with your head or you can take another line that you transcribe and make a, a, a combination out of the both of them you can also do something like this instead of just going up here you can go do something like that. You don't have to go all the way up. You can just go. And even when you do that, you're still going to play them with both hands. With both hands like this. You know, just so you can have it in both hands. One key thing in taking your transcriptions and putting them into the language is not forcing the issue. Don't force it into your playing right away. Like I've done that many of times and it didn't come out great. And the reason why is because it's kind of like trying to learn a new word and you want to put that word in everything. Like let's say you use the word ubiquitous or something like that. We'll use that, the word ubiquitous. I remember learning that word and trying to find a situation where I can use it. And not only was it annoying, but it just didn't make any sense. So at least I understood what the word meant, but when the time was right, it just came out effortlessly. So the key thing is to make sure that you don't force the issue when you learn a new, a new line or a new chord. Just learn it, and then when you get deep into your playing, when you play out live, it'll just come out. The situation will call for it, and you'll be ready for it. Another thing is that when you try and force it in the moment, you're going to miss the moment. And then you start to lose track, and then you have to get back. So the key thing, again, is just not to force it into your playing right away. It'll come out when it's ready. I hope you enjoyed today's segment of me answering some questions. If you have any questions, please feel free to hit me up on my uh, Instagram or on Facebook, all the information will be on the screen or it'll be in the description section below. Um, as a bonus, I'm going to add a video where I played on the Anomaly Beach Challenge. Uh, it was pretty fun. Uh, Anomaly, you should check out his album, his EP. It's great music, really funky, you know, well put together. Again, thank you for your support. And if you haven't subscribed, please press the subscribe button and also press the notifications button so you know when new videos come out. And thank you for all your support and please feel free to share this with your friends. Have a great day and happy practicing.